Warm, warm welcome to the very first episode of Down the Bits. That's it. Yes. <laughs> My name is uh, Martin. Yes. And uh, I'm Michael. This is Michael. Yes. I'm Swedish. I'm Australian. One of the very great things about being here with you is yeah. that you have this amazing store. Thank you. Yes, uh, I own a game shop, music school, records, consoles, a lot of consoles, pinball machines, arcade machines, Betamax player, laser disc players, toys, just stuff that I want. But we're yeah. going to be focusing on the games. And for every episode, we're going to have a theme. In the future, we'd love for some of you to help us out with this theme. But since this is the first episode, I've, I've set the theme. And just like we uh, want for this show, we're thinking with the theme. And the theme is hopefully the first of many. You're free to interpret that any way you want. Okay. Do you, should we just go straight into it? Uh, I can't see why not. Okay. And here's how it works. We both list our top three games on the theme in question. And when we get to our number ones, we'll go into a bit more detail with what's called a template. But we'll get to that in a few minutes. It's Alex Kidd, not Alex the Kid. Okay, he may be a kid, but his last name is Kid. Alex Kid. That just really bugs me when people come into the shop and go, hey, do you have like Alex the Kid or has that got Alex the Kid built in? Like, no. Sorry, you're not allowed to buy this master system, so you can <laughs> leave. Yeah. It's the worst, yeah. Mm. Um, you can buy a Sonic Hedgehog game if you like. <laughs> Just, oh man. Anyway, so my, yeah, I would say number three for me would be Alex Kid in Miracle World. They made other Alex Kid games, but none of them I thought were anywhere near as good as Alex Kid in Miracle World. Just the gameplay of it, the way that it just, it's so much, it was just more of a platformer. You know, the later ones, it was all casino based card rubbish. And <laughs> obviously, they made other versions of that game. They made, you know, Lost Stars, Enchanted Castle. Thingy thing. Oh, who knows? <laughs> you know, I get them mixed up with Wonder Boy, Dragons, Trap, Ooh. Lair. No. And your number two. Number two, Cyborg Justice on the Sega Mega Drive. Cyborg Ooh. Justice. If you don't, just the title gets me going. Oh, it's great. If I used to rent it out um, from a video store back when you could rent out Sega Mega Drive games, and if you if you don't know the game, it's like a beat 'em up, double dragony kind of game. But you choose parts for a robot. So you choose your legs, torso and arms. And if you got sick of the, the legs or the arms that you had, you could just rip them off a bad guy and just <laughs> swap them out. Yeah, just swap them out with yours. Like, oh, I'm sick of this circular saw, I'm gonna get a thing with a flame and I'll just rip it off that guy and, and swap it over. And it was just great and they never made another one. And I, I think they should, you know, like an arcade version, like a four player, like a Turtles awesome. in Time kind of thing. That'd be phenomenal. Mm. And my number one, look, there was a few. There were three versions of this game made. The first one was the best. The second one was absolutely rubbish. And the third one was on the Xbox. And it was okay. But there was nothing that was better. And what game is this, Michael? Toe Jam and Earl. Toe Jam Sega Mega Drive. Earl. How was, good is this game? It's my favorite game. Like, I, well, yeah, it probably is my favorite game. You just kind of... Walk around alien planet. Oh, it's brilliant! You and just kind of walk around and you, you're these spaces, two dudes, these weird-looking, yeah. funky people. Toe Jam and Earl being the big chunky He's one. When I was young, I used to play this with my friend Christopher Krille all the time. Yeah. I always got to play the fat guy because I was a bit of a tubby kid. <laughs> but anyway, that was sort of a good combo. We made it, it was justice. Just great. And then all this. These absolutely brilliant enemies. Yeah. The ice cream truck, the yeah. mad dentist. With Santa Claus, the, it would yeah, just fly away the, and his rock the pack. Yeah. Cupid, yeah. yeah, with and the arrow who fucks up your hand, your <laughs> controller. That's yeah. hilarious. Yeah. So now that we've picked uh, Michael's number one, mm -hmm. you're gonna do something that is called a temperature list. The temperature list, proudly stolen from the Swedish movie podcast Tittarom Snackar where we rank five different aspects of the game, with one being the worst part of it, and five being the best. So the, I gotta find something bad about this game. That was pretty hard. I think number one, the worst thing would be, there's, okay, there's two bad guys that really bugged me. And one was this crazy doctor, and he'd just chase you and <laughs> stab dentist. you with it. The dentist. And then yeah. he'd do this laugh. Yeah, and he'd, <laughs> yeah, and he'd stab you and you couldn't get it. He, he just ran so fast. And that used to bug the hell out of me. And the hula girl. 
She'd oh, just that be little doing, girl. And then you'd just stop and you couldn't go anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, that like was, a classic femme fatale. Yeah. She just wigs her hips yeah, a bit yeah. and then all of a sudden you can't move. You can't move because she's... Yeah. And then comes the fucking dentist yeah. and fucking pokes you in the mouth. Yeah. Number okay. two. Number two. Still not as, bad. But not as but bad. But not as bad. The controls, the way you... The movement... Because you get you start out with like four presents. You remember you'd always start and you had four presents and in that present you just open up a present and you get something. It was super high tops, so you could run faster. When you didn't have super high tops, you were so slow. That bugged me about it. Mm. All right. The controls, number two there. So number three. Yeah. Number three, which is sort of a... Uh, yeah. Going back all the way down to the ground level, where you had like a rocket... You had rocket skates? The rocket skates, yeah. And you find... You I don't even remember. get over water with them once. Yeah. Mm. And th there was one corner. You'd go and there'd be a little, little island and you could fall down that island and there was like a jacuzzi. It like women in the jacuzzi yeah, or something. Yeah, it's like this magical place. Where, yeah. yeah. I mean, I remember finding that when you're, you know, when you're 12, 13 years old, it was fantastic. But oh. like looking at it now, <laughs> it's like, well, that was kind of... Number four. Number four. It's getting good now. Oh. This is something that's seriously good. I just, like the whole, all the levels, just like the way that they that they looked, just, I mean, the graphics for the day were pretty standard. The, just the whole idea of the game, just wandering around a planet, looking for stuff. It took forever, like it wasn't, it wasn't one of those games, I guess you could just go, oh, I'm just gonna pass it as quick as I can, but you didn't have to. You just wander around and you're happy looking around for presents so that you could find tomatoes to throw at people, or, and you get root beer and keep burping so you wake people up. You know, all the sleeping bad guys. I loved that. That was that was great. But I think the best bit, number five. Number five, here comes the best bits. And if anyone disagrees with me on this one, then I don't know. I don't know. The music in this game oh, was incredible. Music is unbelievable. It's I actually best. have this CD of like revamped uh, Sega Sega music and Toe Jam and Earl was actually in that one. Well, like like all MIDI or like no, it was it was, it was proper yeah, right. like with proper instruments. But I remember they they just made it too messy. It was just too much going on. <laughs> Yeah. It's on the bass line there. Oh, absolutely. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I can play it. You can play it. Um, you got to do the ah at the right spot. Ah <laughs> That's it. So, yeah, and that's why this is the game that I wish they had. Well, Toe Jam L3, I'll put it this way, Toe Jam L3 was actually pretty much the same idea, but it was like in a 3D environment, which was, it was actually pretty good. Nothing on the first one, probably because it wasn't the first one, who knows? I guess mm. if that was the first one you played, you like it. Toe Jam L2 is garbage, it's just a side-scrolling platformer. It's just terrible. So, I really wish they would make, you know, more just like this, Toe Jam L. Bang. So yours. So me. <laughs> okay. Game number three. Yeah. Is Mega Man to the Nintendo 8 bits. The original, yeah. And I remember the first time I played that game, mm -hmm. the controls were just so responsive. And as your skills improved, just oh, okay. your hand to eye coordination sort of way improved, you started beating the game for real. It wasn't one of them games where the illusion of getting better is there. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, okay. Like, you just pack on armor or, or crap like that. That's not Mega Man. Yeah. Mega Man's always weak. He's always weak. The all, only thing he gathers up is guns, right? Mega Man won my pick for number three, but that one got shitload of sequels. It did. It did. As they're still making. So luckily for everyone, we got a lot of Mega Yeah, they're still yeah. doing them. Yeah. We've got the original ones going from one to six, I think. Okay. And then you have the PlayStation 7 to 8, and then the X series, and then whatever yeah. it is. X3. I think there's a fighting game. There's yeah. a role-playing game. Yeah, right. So there's a few. Yeah, yeah so we got, we got plenty of Mega Man. For my number two, it's a bit of a quirky one. Okay. It's, uh, it's a game called... Beggar Prince. This is a role-playing game for the for, for the Genesis, for okay. the Sega Mega Drive. Yeah. That never. Don't put me on this, but okay. never made it out of Japan. But somehow along the way, it, it got stopped from from doing its global release. Well, back in the early two thousands, mm. this wonderful 
uh, gang of Americans called the Super Fighter Team. They translated the game to English mm -hmm. and released it on an original Mega Drive cartridge. Super Fighter Theme, oh, yeah. uh, Super Fighter Team. They they did a wonderful thing and brought this game out. Yeah. And luckily, they kept doing this. So they've actually released a handful of titles. Right. But yeah. Including mm -hmm. a uh, an Atari uh, Lynx title. Oh yeah. That came out with the uh, with, with the curved, curved cartridge. cartridge and everything. <laughs> Got one down there somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Of course you do. Yeah. So uh, good on them. Good on Super Fighter Team. Yeah. Mm. And yep. my number one, do you have it hopefully here? the first of many. Yeah. I don't have it here, no, but I do own this game. Here's sure. a picture. Yeah. It's also in Sweden in yeah. a box. Yeah. I can prove this. <laughs> you can just get any picture you want. Off oh, it's easy to be cocky when you're, you're in a, a store full of games. <laughs> anyway, my number one game. Yeah. Sure. Soul Star. <laughs> Soul Star. Soul Star. Made by Core Design, a space shooter for the Mega CD, and it was brilliant. It was beautiful, and the soundtrack is just amazing. And Core Design, they've released some absolutely amazing titles for the Mega CD. They were the only ones that sort of made good use out of the Mega CD hardware. I absolutely loved it. And in, uh, in the magazines that I read at the time, they very quickly uh, started buzzing about this sequel that was going to come, Soul Star X. Okay. But it was planned to come out on, on the 32X. The 32X. <laughs> so this was... Sat in the top of a Mega Drive. Exactly. So this goes into Mega Drive like a cartridge like this. And it added another power supply that was exactly. too big to fit next to anything else. Because the Sega CD already had one. And so did the Mega Drive. And so did the Mega Drive. So you couldn't put all three of them into a four-point power board. So you it need was two power boards two power at least. <laughs> and yeah. uh, just a lot of, a lot of cabling. Uh, yeah, back. it just got silly really quickly, and no one really bought this. No, no, no. I didn't know anyone who had one. No. no, I think I was I was the only person that I knew who had one. Yeah, right. And mine actually broke down and had to be sent to Sega Sweden to be <laughs> to be repaired yeah. for three months, while everyone realized that thirty two X was shit and no one was going to use it. You know what? I could I could tell you right now exactly what the problem was. <laughs> it's that. a heating problem, isn't it? No, it's these ribbon cables in the front. They just get loose because they got like a big magnet on them on each of the ribbon cables and they just kind of fall out. And you just got to open it up and just push them back in. That took them three months to do back in the day. Oh, that's bit. ridiculous. But that's all I have to do on these all the time. Always take them apart, push the ribbon cables back in, done. I've put a switch on this one so that you can switch it between PAL and NTSC. So you don't have to buy the expensive PAL ones nowadays because they're expensive for something this that guy. very rarely this works. Guy. Good to know this guy. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. So Soul Star. Soul Star X. So it's supposed to come out for the 32X. Yeah. But by the time they finished the beta... The Sega Saturn was probably already out. The Sega Saturn was already being, being talked about. The 32X was quickly just sinking down the sand. Yeah. And Core, just, they just canned the entire project. So I never, ever got to see that sequel. Right. But <laughs> turns out, yeah. as I was just reading up on our uh, show today, the 32X version actually got out. Okay. Core abandoned it and they, they gave it away for free. So if you've got a ROM writer, you can download the ROM file, put it on chip, put it inside a cartridge, yeah. and actually play the 32X game. Beta. Beta yeah. But at least it's something. Well, I could probably look at... Do you have a ROM writer? <laughs> I do. Yeah, of course I do. Of course you do. Yeah, I mean, I don't do anything illegal with it. <laughs> <laughs> I actually haven't figured out how to install anything on it yet, so I haven't done anything yet. If you can make my lifelong dream of playing Soul Star X come true on an actual 32X, 32X. Okay. then I'll do something. <laughs> Number one. Number one. The worst thing about it. Mm. I think, if anything, the controls. Okay. They're not crappy, but they're not great. Okay. Especially because you play it in a couple of different modes. So you've got the just from behind mode, but then you have two 360 modes where you sort of move this mech warrior around and you fly this thing around. Because you have to twist around to see things sometimes and it just takes forever. And just while you do that, you just tend to get killed. <laughs> Number two, yeah. it's too short. Okay. It just doesn't live long enough, unfortunately. I always want more. Yeah. Number three. There's all this focus on these sort of pointless 3D morphing sequences. 
between the levels. I remember if you ever read up on an article about Soulstar, mm -hmm. you will always see and read about the morphing sequences. These are pointless. They contribute to nothing. They're sort of just a uh, just a cover up for the loading time for the right. CD. Really, it seems a bit pointless. Yeah. Okay. Mm. All right. Number four. What's really good? Yeah. What's really good about this game? How it looks. Yeah. Okay. It really, it really puts the Mega CD to good use when it comes to to its uh, scaling and rotating capabilities, much like Super Nintendo's Mode 7, like F-Zero yeah. or Mario Kart. That sort of engine, yeah. okay. but just better. And it looks great, and it, it, it fakes all of these amazing things. It looks like you're, you're coming toward these planets, and it just keeps updating. It's a combination of scaling and updating graphics all the time. So it updates sprites as you come closer, yeah. as you would expect. Okay. But it's, it just does it in, in this sort of elegant way. Number five. Okay. Number five, the music. Oh my god, the music! It's made by this man called Nathan McCree. Okay. I believe he went on to make the soundtrack for the Tomb Raider games that Core later, oh, yeah. uh, later got famous for. But see, the Tomb Raider music's got nothing on Soulstar. I still got the soundtrack for Soulstar in my phone today. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Nathan McCree, absolutely amazing. Okay. That's my temp five for Soulstar. Okay. Now, Mike. Challenges. This is the first episode. So from now, every other episode we do, we want to have a guest on with us. If you want to be a guest, send us a message. Go to the link thing here. Um, yeah. And uh, get in touch, and uh, we'll sort something out. Yeah. But, yes. But then you'll have to you'll have to do what we're about to do. Remember, you know, in Top Gear, when they do that, the race around a, a track. We're going to take that concept. To the, to the Sega Saturn. In the right. Sega world. Sega Rally on the Sega Saturn, desert level, one lap. Uh, and then we're going to keep a scoreboard. And yes. so, yeah, if you want to come in and try and beat us, because I'm going to be the best at this. Oh, we'll see about that. <laughs> right, we've moved to the game room. We're about to right. uh, see some Sega Rally here. Yeah. All right, we go. See what happens. Ready? Oh, I'm Three, we're going outside view. Two, one. Go. Have that kind of. I'm used to like uh, Mario Kart, where you know you press, yeah, you press it at the right time, you get a turbo boost. Doesn't happen in this game. Yeah. Watch out for the cows. I'm a little bit annoyed that you still haven't touched the wall. <laughs> yeah, well. Uh, long medium, medium run. Into the long one there. Long oh, medium run. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Messed that up. Oh. Give me a shot. <laughs> that was a jump. I blame the I blame the controls. Of course. Yeah. And then through this little thingy. Oh, oh yeah, the old spin. Nice. Oh, perfect. Up way yeah. too nice. Very long, easy run. Coming up. Fifty seconds. Oh. 50, I may actually. Four, five, no, I didn't six, beat it. Seven. 8.3. 58. 58.3. Okay. All right. Watch out, big man. Here I come. <laughs> to be careful yeah. with my promises. Okay, here we go. Oh, you're an in car person? Yeah, I'm an in car kind of guy. In car view? Yeah. 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 Okay. Have been ever since Virtual Racer 1. <laughs> Oh, the acceleration, I heard that sound. Yeah, that's the sound of brakes. Yeah, almost hit a zebra. Yeah, as you would. Being in the desert. No. Yes. Oh, a bit angled on the jump there. Yeah. No, straight into the wall there. Yes, but got out of it pretty yeah. all right. Okay. Oh, that was pretty smooth. Yeah, I didn't mind that. <laughs> that must what are you at? 40? Oh no! Oh no! Come on, man, you piece of junk. No, I think you've done it. Oh, maybe, maybe. 
I think you've done it. Oh. <laughs> By what? I'm like. How's that feel? How's that feel? <laughs> That's all right. So if you uh, come and guess the show. Yeah. Then I guess then, Martin's uh, the guy you got to try and beat. Then I'm the guy you got to try and beat. Theme for next show. Theme for next yep. show. Um, okay. How's this? We go top three. Yeah, if you decide you've just, you just you work in a really bad place, you got the worst job, and you're sick of it, and you're just like, I'm just gonna call in sick today. Oh, I don't feel, yeah. you know, oh, I don't call feel the so sicky great. Man. Yeah, yeah, it's like, oh, I don't feel so good. You know, that kind get of, your worst job so voice on. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. I can't make it. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah, and then you go and play um, play video games. Which three, which top three video games would you spend a day or two just playing? Because you've had a day off work. Top three games Top three while games. pulling a sickie. While pulling a sickie. Top three games while pulling a sickie. Done. Sickie. All right. That's the theme right. for for next episode. The next episode. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, subscribe. Subscribe if you like what you saw. Definitely yeah. uh, come hang out with us again when yeah. we tackle the the top three sicky games. Top three sicky games. Yeah, and uh, send us a message if you want to be part of the show. Let us know. Get in touch. Hit us up on Facebook or send us an email or whatever. Yeah. Where uh, your store is on Fitzgerald, Fitzgerald Street. Street in North Perth. Look it up. Player One. Yeah, come down. It's pretty awesome. Thanks, guys. That's that right. that was all from us. See you next time. See you next Woo! time.